Hey everyone, what's going on? Joey here, and it feels like forever since we did a Masked Singer video from around the world. So let's go ahead and check out a different version of the Masked Singer. For those who have no idea, at any given time, there's roughly about 20 different versions of the show, either starting, in process, ending, maybe getting ready for the next season. And so we have a little series on here called Masked Singers from Around the World. We could check out the playlist, actually, I'll put down below. And today, let's go ahead and knock out the third series of Masked Singer Italy, or the real name of it, and you guys love it when I pronounce things wrong, but I'm gonna try my best to pronounce this right. Alcante Mascarato, which does translate to the Masked Singer. So let's go ahead and break down everything we know about the third season of the Masked Singer Italy. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe, you turn on notifications, and you give this video a thumbs up, and make sure you check out our brand new Masked Singer t-shirt right here, and hopefully I edit it properly and it's not on that side. So anyway, let's get started. So yes, this is the third season, or as they refer to it in Europe, third series of The Masked Singer. I don't know why they do that. It almost seems like here in the States, we're the only one that calls them seasons. And everyone else calls it series of a series, because then we call our series series. I don't know. That's extremely strange. This season, uh, aka series, is going to be six episodes long. And you're probably like, well, that's short. Well, it's actually a lot longer than what it used to be, because their first season was four episodes. Their second season was five episodes. So they've tacked on another episode. Not only that, they also tacked on a few more contestants, because when the show first came out, they only had eight, then they added two more for 10, and now they have 12. See what I mean? Very different. Obviously, we kept on tacking on more, but they started a lot smaller, only four episodes, and now they've really expanded. Now, when it comes to this season, they're airing it very differently. They air it normally on Fridays on Rayo 1. I think that's how you pronounce the TV network. And so you'll see it starting tomorrow, which is Friday, February 11th. You'll see it on February 18th and February 25th. And then they're gonna be off for a week because of a holiday or celebration. And then they'll come back again on March 11th, which is Friday, the 18th and the 25th. And you're probably saying to yourself, wait a minute, how is it possible that February 11th falls on a Friday and March 11th falls on a Friday? This February is weird. It just so happens that the dates match up perfectly with March. Because there's only 28 days in the month you have that weird thing where they just kind of like fall into place. It happens, I think, every 10 years or something weird like that. Now, you're probably saying, Joey, what do the costumes look like? Because they have to be, be I mean, it's, it's Italy. It's Rome. We're going to Rome for this show, right? And the costumes are really cool, but I will tell you, some of them will look familiar to you. Some of them are repeats or at least changed a little bit from different versions. From, I think there's one even from... I want to say Colombia, and there's a couple from the United States. They're not 100% the same, but they're a little bit changed, and you got to remember one thing. The production company that puts together most of these, I think it's Shine Emerald or something like that, they themselves own the rights to the show, and then they rent them out to the different versions. With that, there is some, something like weird in the contract that states that they can rent designs, and remake the costumes or even rent the costumes themselves. So for those who normally, because we normally say that you know, different versions are stealing them, they're really not. They're just reusing things and then they add in some of their own. Um, but we'll be talking about Russia very soon because six costumes are pretty almost, uh, almost exactly what are. But anyway, let's go ahead and break down the costumes. Now keep in mind, even though the show is airing tomorrow, they have yet to put out any PR photos. Normally at the beginning of the season, they give us some kind of like, you know, stock images. Something that we normally cut out to put in like our vo videos, like cover photo. Nope, not this season for some reason. I don't know why. And while there are some photos floating around that may be like, like quarters of it, nothing's really perfect to use for the video. Instead, this is what we're going to do. This actually, even up till six minutes ago, the Masked Singer Italy has had one of their presenters, investigators, going around on stage and doing like a little video with the contestant. And while you don't really get the full photo or video of the contestant, 
you do get an understanding of the mask and you can definitely see like, oh, well, like one of them's jellyfish, AKA Medusa. And you're like, oh, well that looks just like the other Medusa's a little bit different. So let's go ahead and break down the costumes, starting off with the fox. The fox is really cool looking. I love his suit, his whole outfit's adorable. After that is the snail. And while it does kind of look like the American snail, it's not, it is a massive, so much bigger. Kermit wouldn't be able to fit in this because he would like, like get lost in the middle of it. After that we have is a hen. This is a cute little penguin. Look how cute this thing is. And I can use the word cute here because I kind of want him as a plush animal. You can put him over here, right? Next is the chameleon. And yes, you have seen this one before. Let me know in the comment section where you've seen it before. And I, we're going to get to the same answer, I know, because we all watched the other version of the Masked Singer. After that is the seahorse. And all I can do, I see it. I just screamed Tori Kelly. Tori Kelly! Ah, it's you! <laughs> it's not Tori Kelly this time. After that is Medusa, and yes, you've seen this one before. No, it's not the jellyfish from the American version. It's from a different version. After that is the red fish. We have a dog. The dragon costume is kind of cool, but I feel like we've seen something similar to this, like a gargoogle. Gargoogle? Did I say that wrong? Gargoogle? I can't pronounce it. Gargoogle. Oh my gosh. Gargoogle? I can't say it. Gargoyle. Mm. Gargoyle. That was weird. <laughs> anyway, let's continue. After that, we have an eagle, which you may say it looks like the American one. It's, it's not. The American one, I don't believe, open. This one's open. So, a little bit different right there. And then the last one, which is very unique, the Sun Moon. And I can't find a full, like, good video of this one because this costume looks pretty cool. But, um, those are the 12 contestants for this upcoming Series 3 or Season 3 of The Masked Singer Italy, a.k.a. I'm going to attempt this one more time. Ecante Mascherato. I'm Italian. I can't speak Italian. That's sad. Anyway, let me know what you think of the costume. Stay tuned because hopefully we'll have the real HD photos tomorrow once the show actually airs. Because it's airing in like, what, 15 hours or so? So uh, hopefully we'll get some new videos and things for you guys. There is a live audience, and it looks like they actually do it in a beautiful theater, which is very different. But anyway, I want to thank you for joining me. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. I'm Joey. Stay safe. See you later. Bye.